Future Gymnastics people. How you doing today? I am fantastic. We're gonna learn a baby giant. And let me show you what one is first. Uh, so we all know what we're doing. guys, I think that doing a real giant could be easier than that. I feel like I have to think more in that. So when you're warming up, do your nice tight hollow. Ooh, that's kind of fun too. Nice and tight. So you get that feeling of that nice tight tap, okay? And when you tap, you really got to make sure not to tap too early. You got to wait, wait, wait. Then tap it back because you use that force of this position and it's like just throws you around. So that takes a hollow arch tap. Hollow. Woo. This trick is all about being tight. Just be like a, mm, be the pencil or the whatever, block of cement. You gotta have a nice strong cast in the beginning or it's just gonna be so limpy. So really, really strong cast. Hold the shoulders over. And you're gonna push the bar down. When you get to the above horizontal, that's when you're gonna push back. Push out with your shoulders. Like, like literally you're pulling your arms out of your body and you turn into a gorilla and it's like, uh, you gotta get, get those ribs in. Okay, you're gonna open up those shoulders. And as you push back, just try and keep all of this nice and hollow. You don't wanna stick your booty out right away because some people will cast and they'll go eh, because then it's just gonna make everything really hard and it's not gonna look as pretty. a nice straight body and trust yourself you're not gonna hit the bar okay because you can see use your eyeballs these things as you're pushing back you can see with your eyes actually where the bar is okay so you're gonna pass under the bar stay nice and hollow 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 then when you get to right about here you're gonna Really open these shoulders. You're gonna do a nice tight arch, stretch your feet behind you and tap. Okay, tap, tap away, tap, tap, root. Okay, you gotta really get those feet. And then, wham! You're gonna get those toes and hips. Almost imagine someone standing under you and like lifting your, your back, your butt, and your like calves all together, like mm. Okay, imagine that person under you. Up, 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 up. Toes over, over. And then, you don't wanna get your hips to the bar too soon. You want those toes up, 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 up. And then those hips are gonna come on the bar right at the end. Because a lot of people, they'll bring their toes to the bar too soon instead of rising. Be a rising star, rise away. Up, 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 up then over. And then you'll come around here when you get back to the bar to go into your underswing. Don't loosen up, because the first ones, by the way, it took me about uh, eight or nine times, and I finally used my brains, and I thought, you've got to squeeze, you have to squeeze. So as soon as my hips came back to the bar, you have to, Pull this in, just like this position right here. And squeeze to death. Don't let your head go. Okay, just keep everything neutral, neutral. As the shoulders go, the toes go up. Aim for like right there in your underswing and then you're gonna get that same nice and laid out position. Like this, do so many V-ups. 
and leg lifts. Hollow body rocks, because you gotta get this strong so you can get those toes up and over. And it's actually really fun. When you do it, it's kind of like, woo, like a ride. And also, when you're pushing away, remember not to push away too soon. Because uh, I've seen uh, students do that. They'll be here and they'll, whoo, and they forget about their cast. So take your time, get that cast up, then push it back. Hollow, 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 hollow. Wait, 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 wait. Tap, tap, tap a real. And get those toes, hips, up, 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 up. Like aim your toes are almost going up to the ceiling. And your body's in one line, and then your hips go to the bar. And then bam, you're gonna be ready for super giants, the real situation. You can do it. And don't be afraid of that bar. Maybe put a mat, fold a mat over the low bar. When you first do it, if you're, if you're scared or whatever, go over a pit. Okay, put some nice fluffy mats under you. Oh, and you can put heel pads, or get knee pads, go buy some knee pads. You stick them on your heel so that when you cast and go into your, your baby giant, then you'll be less scared of hitting that bar. Because then, hey, if you do, you are protected. Because the more you do that cast push away, um, the easier and less scary it's gonna be. Thanks for watching everyone. I wish you luck on your baby giants. Remember, the more strength, the better. I think in my giant video I go through a bunch of strength also. You can check that out. Here is your end of the video trick. This is my favorite fun trick to do on the trampoline. It's just something goofy. Have a wonderful day.